guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing the rose gold uh, leopard, uh, which has rose gold metallic vinyl on it. Um, it's really, really pretty, and it kind of gives you an idea how you can use the same two colors, and it can look fabulous. So let's get right to it. Hope you enjoy. Hi guys, I'm going to show you how I sand my tumbler. I just, I get these in big strips and then I just rip them down and then I just sand the cup and then I wash it with acetone. I already started sanding it before uh, I recorded. You really want to make sure you get around the rim. In the bottom, I always just take that little sticker off. This is a 30 ounce hog. Okay, now we're going to uh, go ahead and do our ombre. I use the epoxy method, and both of these are finer cuts, so I don't need that thick of a layer. So we'll try to spread it on as thin as possible. I did uh, heat my cup up to uh, help it spread. See how nice and thin it's uh, going? Which if you're not using chunkies, you, you do want it as thin as possible. So I'm going to start off with the gold. We're using Golden from SOC Glitters. Now I'm not going halfway up with this, so I'm uh, just going to go that far for now, get the bottom real good. I'm just drawing my line right now. Okay. 
And then we're going to use Golden Rose by uh, Glitter Hard Co. I think that's too pink. Give me a minute, I'm gonna change my glitter. Okay, we're going to go with uh, Glitter Addiction's Golden Rose. I'm going to try this one. I think it's a little closer to what I'm looking for, so I'm going to try to wipe this off. The best I can, and then re apply Now let's see what this one looks like. That's more of a rose gold. Well, more of the rose gold I was looking for. See how I got my cup at an angle? I'm just going to let that flow down and then I'm going to add my gold again. You're just tilting it so you can get a good blend and in one inside the other. And at the bottom, we're just going to add some rose gold uh, leopard spots. And I'm just lightly tapping just to get it to move up ever so slightly. And then we're going to go back over heavy 
with the rose gold. Heavy there. so covered in glitter okay so we're gonna go heavy just going to lightly tap again and then I'm going to go one more just in that area with the rose gold I just like to make sure I got good coverage. It's probably overkill, but... I just, I like it when I get a real nice, good blend.
I know it seems petty doing it like this, but I don't know. For some reason, I just like hand placing my stuff instead of doing it uh, with the transfer sheet. I don't know. Do you like placing your stuff by hand or do you uh, prefer using a transfer? Especially if I'm layering. If I'm layering a design, I'll do the first one and then most of the time I will hand place it as well. But sometimes, sometimes I will use a transfer sheet depending on the design. No, I'm just I'm just placing them how I think they would look, how I personally like them. But you know, you can do it however you prefer. Let's see, I'll try to grab both of these at the same time. I think that one's a little too short. We'll see. And then once I'm done placing all these, I'll have a quick look over to see if I want to move any or if I want to add some somewhere. Once you get the full picture, it's easier to do that. really like using the fuzzy leopards but for this particular cup they use the I use these it's the first time I've used these ones I know I'm really liking this rose gold metallic though it's really pretty This is Cricut vinyl, actually. I don't buy much, uh, much from Cricut, but they do got some really, really nice pearl permanent vinyl, and they got they got some. Uh, I love their textured their textured vinyl. I use a lot, and when it catches sale, I'm buying it up. I got a whole drawer that's full of them. But I mean, I use it a lot because I think it just really makes a difference in a cup as to what you add to it. And, you know, you you can change the color of something and it completely changes the whole look of of your tumbler. Or, you know, you can add a different vinyl. Like, this would look totally different if I added black. So, I mean, it all depends on what you and your customer are going for.
Oh, king of honey bees. I mean, I love trying different things and changing the looks of things. That's like when uh, I did that alcohol ink glitter one. I immediately wanted to do a green one because green's my favorite color. And I really wanted to see how it would turn out. And I really thought about doing a neon and seeing what a neon one would look like. I might do that. Recreate that terrible video I made. <laughs> For some reason, I don't know how I never noticed that you couldn't even see me glittering. I guess I was just nervous because that was the, one of the first ones I recorded. But, I mean, I've learned to... Pay attention a lot better. And check and then double check. And I mean, I, I'm still, some of the videos were pretty old. So, you know, my uh, a friend of mine was telling me that if you hold the phone long ways, it works better for uh, when you're doing a YouTube video because she learned that. She watches a lot of the farm videos and uh, they had mentioned that on there. So then I, so then I, when I started recording, I started, started holding it different and she was definitely right. <laughs> it does, uh, does make a difference. I don't have all that black at the side. So I'm, I'm kind of excited to get to uh, add those videos. I really, I love, I love doing crafty stuff. I've loved crafts forever. I had uh, a great aunt that was always into doing crafty stuff. I remember when I was a kid, her making these like really cute Easter baskets. And uh, I think it was... Uh, they were selling them for the church. And then uh, my other aunt also has always been real crafty. And as a matter of fact, I think I still have this sewing basket that she had made. It was like a uh, little wicker basket and she made a lid for the top of it. And I believe I still have that. And gosh, that, was, that seems like forever ago. But I mean, I've always had a lot of crafty women around me on and off throughout life. And my stepmom, my stepmom, she does quilts. And uh, I, I got really addicted to fabric. <laughs> and, uh, but she, does, she, she taught me how to do some quilting and making Christmas stockings and... How did, how did you guys get started doing crafty things? I know I've, I've just always been inspired by the women I've been around my life. You know, I, I just hope to inspire, inspire another person. Like, I've, you know, I, I've always had other women that inspire me. 
I know when I first started, uh, first started, I loved watching, and I still do, uh, Sandy's Organized Chaos. She's, she's just such an amazing person, her and her husband both, and the girls. I mean, she's so personal in there. I mean, you, you feel like you've known her forever, <laughs> and I've never met her. <laughs> But uh, if you've never checked her out, definitely check her out. I'm sure you have. But if you haven't, you need to. She's, she's amazing. And you want to talk about a creative woman. She can come up with some stuff now. And just remember, when you're picking like different things, like I said, you know, just change in changing your your vinyl can give uh, there I go not paying attention changing your vinyl can completely change the whole look of your cup so just remember that when when you're working on a project and you know kind of lay things out and 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 check it out and see what you think and you know like when somebody when somebody sends me you know um, sends me a design something similar I'll shoot them some ideas and, and go from there and normally it normally it works out great I've had a few that I, I've had to do that I just absolutely did not like. You know, just didn't like. And I hate when you get those ones that you just don't want to do because you don't like it. You don't like the design. You don't like the idea. So, you know, you just kind of got to push through that because everybody's taste is different and you know, you're giving the customer what they want. But I do have a difficult time with that sometimes. And you know, I'll I'll try to try to persuade. And sometimes it works and sometimes it don't. It's it to me that's that's one of the hardest things is you know having to do something or create something that I really don't like. I'm just trying to, as you see, I'm just going around trying to fill in like little areas where I think it needs something. Because you, you definitely want your, your the whole cup to feel complete. Like this is the first time I've used these spots, but I mean, they're not bad. I think they look pretty cute. Look at that. I, I love the rose gold on rose gold. It's so pretty. I can't wait to put epoxy on this. We are going to have to use a the clear sealer because this vinyl is really bad with uh, repelling epoxy. So... 
We'll try to just create one less problem by just going ahead and adding a, a sealer on it. Okay, and there you have it. We're gonna put our sealer on it. And then uh, once that sealer dries, we'll throw a layer of epoxy on it. I think it looks pretty already. Now we're just going to do some sanding. Uh, it's, it really doesn't need that much. Just a few spots I noticed. Um, and then we'll put a final layer on. You always want to be real easy. Especially because this metallic glitter... I mean, this metallic vinyl, you're not going to be able to fix with a marker. Like, I do a lot of little hacks with the alcohol ink markers, but with the metallics, especially the rose gold, I don't, I don't have any that would be able to fix that. So you just want to go real gently.
I mean, it's not too bad up here, but I'm just going to go ahead and do a light, just a real light, because there is, you know, from it being the first coat since we sanded the rim, there's a few pokies. But all in all, it's it's pretty pretty smooth. Now we're going to rub it down with some alcohol and then put the final, final layer on. I got a little. thanks for watching uh, I hope you enjoyed the video this was more of a little bit simpler tumbler but uh, it kind of gives you a new look at things uh, from using the same color uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and ring the bell if you want to be notified for new content have a blessed day